if your budget is largely dependent upon the governor, the, the governor uh, sets the agenda for the state, how do you possibly plan to execute that as lieutenant governor for the entire state of New York and its vastness uh, without much money in the bank? Absolutely. Now, the, the, the first thing to point out to that, if the budget is roughly six hundred to seven hundred thousand dollars, I believe it's largely been an expensive ribbon cutting role. It's largely ceremonial. I'm vastly outspent right now by my opponent, but I've been able to travel the state. And the position that I have the vision for is not reliant on the governor giving me money, and it's not reliant on the governor saying what I can and can't do. I do believe if the governor believes in the things that he says he's saying now close to election time, I'm actually the type of lieutenant governor he would want because I have a vast history of getting difficult conversations through to productive legislation and policy. Let's Can I return to you. That? Sure, go I'd ahead. I'd be happy to. You know, I really don't appreciate having the role that I have undertaken on behalf of the people of New York denigrated in such a way to say that it's simply a ribbon cutting role. I mean, I'm sorry. When a ribbon is cut, that means something good and new is happening. That's to the families of someone who's suffering from heroin addiction and trying to find a path to recovery. I, yes, I've cut ribbons to open new facilities for them under this governor. I've been there to cut the ribbons on new factories that are bringing life to places like downtown Buffalo, which was given up for lost and hopeless for my entire life. So I think, and I've actually seen the council at ribbon cuttings himself as well, but that just means there's a new beginning. There's a success behind it. 